And we're here to tackle another multi-step um, problem from our unit about exponential properties. So remember, I always say that there are three things that you should do. We should start with parentheses first, then do moving our negatives, and then do our any adding and subtracting that we have to do. So if I look at this problem and do my parentheses first, I'm going to take this outside exponent and distribute it to everything that's on the inside. So that would make 2 to the power 3. The x already had a 4, but I'm going to give it another 3. The y already had a negative 3. It gets another power of 3. So if I were to simplify this further, I could take 2 to the third power and type that in my calculator, and I would get 8. And then, if you remember, we have a property that tells us if I have a variable that has two exponents like this, like x to the fourth to the third, I multiply these two exponents. So 4 times 3 would give me x to the twelfth. Same thing with my y's. I'm going to multiply those two. So it would be y to the negative ninth power. So now if I rewrite my original problem, I have 8x to the power 12, y to the negative ninth on the top, and I have the original bottom of my fraction. So now that I've eliminated all of my parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and move my negatives. Well, I have one thing that is negative right now. I have the y to the negative ninth. So I'm going to take this and move it to the bottom of the fraction, and it gets to become positive. And I'm going to scribble it out of the top because it's now no longer up there. So now our last step is just to get it so that there's only one letter, one number, or one of each letter, and only one number in our problem. So I'm getting my fraction bar ready. And first, I'm going to go ahead and look at my coefficients in this problem. I have an 8 and a 4. Remember, the whole numbers, you just do whatever symbols in between them. If there's a multiplication symbol in between them, you multiply the two numbers. If there's a division symbol in between them, you need to divide the two numbers. So 8 divided by 4 would give me 2. And I put that on the top of my fraction because that's where the bigger number was. Now when I look at my x's, since these two x's are on top of each other, I'm using subtraction. So 12 minus 8 is 4. And then my bigger x's were on the top of the fraction, so that's where I'm going to put my answer. And then if I look at my y's, since they're next to each other, I'm going to add them up. So 5 plus 9 is 14. And I'm going to put those on the bottom because both of my y's were already on the bottom. And this is going to be my final answer because I'm left with only one number and one of each variable. And I also don't have any negative exponents.